the November Pokemon Go research Pokemon for the month has recently been revealed. And it's quite possible this could end up being the most powerful Pokemon in the game. And it's almost in a Mimi Bidoof type of way because in reality, this Pokemon in the original core games, Ruby and Sapphire, had a base HP of one, but it came with a very interesting ability. Now, of course, the Pokemon we're talking about for November is Shed Ninja, which is the evolution of Nikita, and then it turns into Ninjask, but it also turns into Shed Ninja. So the interesting thing about this in Ruby and Sapphire was if you had Ninkata, it got to level 20, you had an empty Pokeball in your inventory, and had an empty slot in your party of six, you would effectively end up having Ninkata evolve into two Pokemon. But here's the interesting thing about Shed Ninja and the fact that it only has one HP in Ruby and Sapphire. It's because it actually has immunity to so many types. I'll put the screen up on here. You can see that it actually has immunity to all of these different types, so if it receives damage that is not super effective, it does no damage at all. Now, the attacks for Shed Ninja weren't great, so it wasn't like this really overpowered tanky Pokemon, but early in the game when you're getting Ninkata to level 20, you're probably not too far along yet, and having the ability to have this Pokemon that you know, while only having one HP can take damage and not actually receive any damage was kind of a cool gimmick, at least for, you know, the early part of the game. Now that has the opportunity to come into Pokemon Go, though many fans are speculating that ultimately Niantic won't implement this system just because no Pokemon truly have abilities in Pokemon Go. Now you could argue Ditto does, it does transform into the opposing Pokemon, but that's because Ditto's move is transformed not the ability being transformed. So based on the data mining that's been done, they've already actually found the stats for Shed Ninja, even though it's not currently you know, released, it's not currently catchable in the game yet, the stats are already out there, and they're not very promising. A max CP of 421, an attack of 153, a defense of 80, and the ultimate killer a stamina of two, which means in the event that you would put a Pokemon on a gym that had a max CP of 421, it would just tank out its life really fast. But maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe the stamina is so low because Niantic does plan to implement this feature where if you had a Shed Ninja on a gym, you know, and a player that was going up against the gym maybe didn't understand type advantages, they wouldn't know what to put up against the Shed Ninja and ultimately wouldn't actually be able to deal any damage to it. Now, assumably if you really were that much, you know, of an inexperienced player, you weren't familiar with the type advantages, eventually if you just eliminated every single Pokemon off the gym, assumably your recommended Pokemon for the gym would be ones that had type advantages against Shed Ninja, at which time you could finally actually deal some damage. Now the other thing that isn't actually too scary about this is the move set that Shed Ninja has in Pokemon Go. And again, this has also been mined. It's gonna be Bite or Struggle for the quick move, with the main moves being Dig, Aerial Ace, or Shadow Sneak. Now, there aren't many good bug type Pokemon outside of, you know, pretty much Pinsir right now in the game, though there's some more that are gonna be coming with Gen 4. So, you know, having that one bug type move, you know, that's kind of a, a good benefit to it. But for the most part, these are very, very weak moves that even if you're going up against somebody that, again, does not understand the type advantages, odds are Shed Ninja's not gonna be dealing very quick damage while the person tries to figure that out. So it, it is a little bit alarming to me, the fact that the stamina is so low. I didn't check, but I would have to imagine that this is by far the lowest stamina of any Pokemon in the game. And maybe that's just a way to sort of nerf out, you know, having it be a great gym defender if they were to implement the proper system. Or maybe it's just reflective of the fact that Shed Ninja is literally a shell of another Pokemon. Now with this release, I would assume that Ninkata and Ninjask will also become a part of the game, which I believe will finally complete the Hoenn Pokédex even here as we've moved on to the Sinnoh region. So I think a lot of people are speculating that this is kind of being given away just because Niantic did not know how to create this split in the game, how to you know factor in this evolution being so unique into the game. So ultimately, they're just giving away Shed Ninja, which is really, if this holds up, going to be a disappointing Pokemon 
without that effect. So only time will tell here in the next couple of days if the effect actually gets brought in, if that you know uniqueness that Shed Ninja has is factored in. Otherwise, this is going to be just simply a very weak, very underwhelming Pokemon that's going to exist merely to give you the Pokedex entry. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Bailey, and I will see you in the next video.